Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see the formula to calculate the size of the candle. So size of the candle is basically uh, the distance between the high and the low of the candle, right? So we will see how to calculate that in simple terms. All right. So this is the strategy that I've created. So based on that, it has taken certain trade when the condition was met for certain size of the candle. So we will read the notification logs also. But before that, let us just see the strategic condition that we have built. All right. So this is the strategy size of the candle. So let's just see the entry condition that we have built. So it's a very simple entry condition where we are saying that the time should be greater than 920 and that the position of high. All right. So position high that is the parameter, right? Because high minus low. So position high of the previous five minute candle minus one five minute candle of Nifty Bank spot index is minus the position low of the spot Nifty Bank index minus one parameter. So that is basically in the previous candle, if the high minus low that formula in brackets, it's always important to put this in brackets. Uh, so anytime you're using a mathematical formula, always make sure that your brackets are proper or else the output will not be correct. All right. So always use the brackets properly. So uh, position high minus one minus the position low minus one of the same candle should be greater than number 50. That is when it should basically buy a nifty bank future. So that's the reason why on the position builder side, we have put the nifty bank uh, uh, future to be bought when the condition meets. And we have put a simple universal exit condition that uh, whenever the PNL reaches 500 points, uh, either on the upside or downside minus uh, that is target or stop loss, then we will exit the strategy. All right. So let's just see what kind of uh, trades it has taken based on this entry condition. So let's just again pop up this entry condition and see that this is the condition that we have built and we will see the trade that it has taken. So for that, we will just go to the notification log. So over here in the notification log, let me just open the entry condition. So at 920, as we can see, this trade was taken. This was the entry condition was satisfied. So that's the reason why we will just check what was the position. All right. So position high was 36.972 and the position low was 36.745, right? So 36.972 minus 36.745 is almost, almost 250 points, right? So our condition was that a mere increase or uh, if the difference between the high and the low of the previous candle is greater than number 50, then we wanted to uh, take the uh, take the trade. But over here, the if you see the difference, right? Our number was 50, but over here the calculation, if you see 36,972 minus 36,745 would be almost 250 points. So that is when this condition was met and that is the reason why it has taken the trade. And then again, after uh, say 50 seconds or so, this condition was uh, met of the PNL where the PNL was uh, 680 and our condition was that if it crosses 500, then we want to exit the condition. But the main crux is this one that whenever the size of the candle that the previous candle is greater than 50 points is what our condition was. And this condition was true in that case. So you can change this to maybe 50 points or 100 points or whatever based on the candle, uh, based on the size of the candle that you want to trade with. And then accordingly, you can uh, frame this condition and use it in your strategy creation. All right. So we can see that this trade was taken at 920.01 at so and so rate, 36.931. And uh, this particular condition was met at with, with 500 points. That is about 20 points higher, right? So that's the reason why it got exited. All right. I hope this was useful uh, and you can use this in your uh, strategies. Thank you.